Apple Search Ads is one of the best ways to bring new users to your apps and mobile games. Hello, my name is Thomas and in this video we're going to talk about the topic Apple Search Ads best practices. Running a campaign without prior knowledge can be tricky because you might be wasting both your valuable time as well as your money. So in this video we're going to talk about best practices examples that will help you saving time and seeing better results. First things first, we already talked about the differences between Apple Search Ads Advanced and Apple Search Ads Basic. Click the link in the description to find out if you don't know the differences yet. We highly recommend the usage of using Apple Search Ads Advanced because with Apple Search Ads Basics, as the name says, your possibilities are really basic. With Apple Search Ads Advanced, you will be able to define your keywords, your target audience, your creative sets, and will also get in-depth reports about your campaigns and how they perform. If you're not sure how to get started with this, we already prepared a lot of material on this topic feel also free to reach out to us, we're more than happy to help. The most important thing to understand is that Apple Search Ads is really running based on keywords. So it is very important that you define a good keyword strategy that helps you analyzing your campaigns and getting the best results. There are different possibilities how you can split up your keywords into different campaigns. One probably quite easy and also easy to implement strategy is to split up your keywords into brand keywords, competitor keywords and general or discovery keywords. Brand keywords, quite obviously, are targeting into ranking for keywords that are related to your brand. It might be your name or it might be the name of your company, you get the point. Competitor keywords are keywords that uh, your competitors are using, meaning names of your competitors, because with the help of Apple Search Ads, it is also possible that you can place ads on your competitors' keywords. General keywords, on the other hand, are keywords that people are not yet associating with your app or with an app of your competitors. This means these keywords are mainly targeting into the use case or of the purpose of your app. To give you an example, this could mean if you have a fitness app, keywords could be diet, fitness, workout, running, you get the point. So keywords that are referring to the use case of your app, to the purpose of your app, but are not associated with a brand yet. If you want to find out if your competitors are also bidding on your keywords, are bidding on your brand names, tools like AppRadar can help you finding out exactly that. When talking about keywords and also about splitting up keywords into different campaigns, negative keywords is a very important topic. Negative keywords are keywords that you don't want to rank for within specific campaigns. Why should you do that? Because it helps you optimizing your campaigns and figuring out which ones are running and which ones are not running. Because you're not using a keyword twice and this will help you really figuring out how the campaigns are performing and how to optimize them further. Next, creative sets. Creative sets are the screenshots or the previous videos that will be placed in your ad. Creative sets can be configured on ad group level. This means you can create different creative sets for different kind of target audiences. But there is one very important thing, you are not able to upload any new screenshots or any new preview videos. You are only able to use the screenshots as well as the app preview videos that you have already uploaded to App Store Connect when it comes to the topic defining your creative sets. Now we have learned how to set up campaigns, so it's time to jump into the next topic. Money. Apple Search Ads works as an auction system. This means that every bit actually influences the cost per tab price. Like with every auction system, also the willingness of people to bid on a keyword will highly influence the price. Apple will recommend you a bit to get started. If your app is not being displayed within the App Store, this also means that your price is too low and that you have to hire it, so your app is being displayed. Last but not least, there is also the combination of Apple Search Ads with the topic App Store optimization. It is very important that you optimize your App Store listing because otherwise chances are quite high that you will be burning a lot of money. Because when you send traffic to your App Store page, but your App Store page is not converting, either because it's not relevant to the keywords or because your App Store page is not visual appealing, this means that you're going to lose money. So therefore, we highly recommend that you invest into the topic App Store optimization first, before you jump to the topic Apple Search Ads. So if you want to learn more about App Store optimization, we also created a separate video focusing exactly on this topic. In this video, we covered the topic Apple Search Ads best practice. If you want to learn more about this topic or similar topics, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the notification bell so that you will get a notification as soon as our next video is live. And don't forget, 
Keep optimizing. Yeah. <laughs>